It was by every measure epic. The made-for-television miniseries Roots, which aired right here on ABC in 1977. A record 85% of American households watch for a perspective that's more than have ever watched an Olympics or a Super Bowl. For the first time on TV, it was the very human story of slavery, what's been called America's original sin, told from the slave's perspective. Now a new version of Roots for a new generation premieres next week. Few roles in television history cast a longer shadow than Kuta Kinte. The African boy who became an American slave in Roots. I opened my eyes and I was here. So, A record 130 million people tuned in, a milestone for our nation. You name Tobin. A looking glass of sorts at the degradation of slavery. What's your name? Kunta. Kunta Kinte. And the dignity one man, one family reclaimed. There could be another day. So Roots was a seminal event in our nation's history. Actor LeVar Burton was just a 19-year-old college kid. Could it never forget you? When he got the role of his life. The story had never been told before from the point of view of the Africans. You are Kunta Kinte. Now, almost 40 years later, Kunta Kinte and Roots are back. Reimagined and remade by the History Channel. The new cast full of Hollywood star power, but the starring role Kunta Kinte played by British newcomer Malachi Kirby. Never let them put the chains on your mind. One of the biggest things that I took from playing Kunta Kinte is where his strength came from was in knowing where he was from. Gambi Balongo! Toby! 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 Well, good, it's been a long time coming, this moment, yeah, man. <laughs> Kirby and Burton, who originated the role, first met on set in Africa. It's an important story. It man. is an important story, Malachi. Yeah! Burton is the co-executive producer of the new series, and the two men formed a close bond. To be given the opportunity to portray him is a huge responsibility. I can't imagine doing what it is he did in terms of... But you did it first. I, yeah, but it's, it's easy to be the first in that sense, because then no one has anything to compare you to. Much like the character he plays, Kirby found inspiration by drawing on his own roots. This felt very much like my story. My last name is Kirby. I'm aware I'm from Africa, but my last name is not African. When it first aired, the country seemed to stand still for eight days in January 1977. An unheard of 85% of American households caught a part of the series. I think it's important that you saw this picture. Sparking debate in classrooms and in homes. Like, the black people now were trying to accomplish that men are equal. It rocked us. It tore the, the blinders off. We could not go back to the way we were before. Sure, I remember I went to a predominantly white high school, and I was pissed going sure. to school sure. in Roots. And that. we had to work through that. You had to work through that. The series had such an impact, many of the characters' names made it on to real birth certificates. Easy. Behold, the only thing greater than yourself. I wanted to name her Ebony. He said, no, Kizzy. Kizzy, the name of Kunta's daughter. The name Teresita and Carlos Gonzalez, a young immigrant couple living in New York in 77, decided to give their own daughter. I love it. <laughs> I think it's powerful. I think it's impactful. Powerful how? Powerful because just like Kizzy, my family's here. You know, just like Kizzy, I uh, am deep-rooted in the uh, commitment to family, I instilled it in my children. So, you know, um, it's powerful in that sense. Kizzy now married a mother of two. This is how I heard about the boy, Kunta Kinte. We brought the entire family in for a private screening of Roots. The pain of the miniseries, the pride it revealed, all remembered. It's always hard to watch, but it, it is a lot to learn from. For this family and many others, the Roots remake seems especially relevant now, as the deaths of Freddie Gray, Michael Brown, Sandra Bland, have reignited America's long debate over race and justice. We will get better, and we will get worse, and we will get better again, I hope. Anika Noni Rose as Kizzy in the remake. If you ever touch just one, I'll kill you. The key to that is continuing 
to shed light, continuing to tell truth, continuing to correct mistruths, and continuing to listen. I'm a fair man, Kizzy. You know that. Jonathan Reese Myers plays the slave owner, Tom Lee. You're going to be my good luck charm. Roots may be a story that took place 150, 165 years ago, but all it is is a political mirror as to what we are doing today. The other starring role, Chicken George, portrayed by another newcomer, Reggae Jean Page. You crave wonderment, jubilation, revelation, woo, glory! That's what you came to see! There's not a single person I encountered on set who did not want to get this right, who did not feel it was important to get this right. It was never just a job. It was so much bigger than that. And from his watchful gaze as we spoke to the cast, Burton seems confident the story is in good hands. Here's a question that I can't imagine anyone better suited to answer than you. Why? Mm -hmm. Why remake this classic? Because there was a whole new generation of, of kids out there for whom the original was old and was dated. And so in order for them to get the, the power of the story, it had to be retold for them in a language that they could understand. The power of this uniquely American story, the lessons learned in those still to come. I think that's the value of storytelling. It helps give us a context for who we are, why we're here, and what we're doing while we're here. Roots premieres on the History Channel Memorial Day, airing over four consecutive nights. The History Channel is part owned by ABC Television.